So this is a demo to show you some of the features of the Sketcher School app that you can use with your children in your nursery. You can either use it responsively in the moment with the children, or I might recommend using the guided access function to keep it on Sketcher School and leave an iPad in your mark making area for children to use freely. So first of all, you have to find the Sketcher School app, which is a white icon with a blue pen. So when it opens up, tap on the plus button on the top left and it will open a new page for you. And you'll see all the tools on the left hand side that you can use. You've got pencil, pens, marker, brush pen. Just tap on them to be able to use them. On the right hand side, the three dots indicate with what thickness your pen, your tool will be. On the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a purple square. If you tap on that, it will bring up all the colors and you can scroll up and down and choose different colors. Tap on a color to select the one you need. This can be a great tool, particularly for those reluctant mark makers in your setting. And if you make sure your volumes turn up, you'll hear that the sound is enabled as well and you can hear the making marks on the screen, which can just add an extra sensory element to the mark making experience on the iPad. This one's a watercolour feature and again you can drag your finger across to create the watercolour effect and it's slightly opaque but also you can tap your finger on the screen and will add kind of watercolour blotches to it. If you single tap the eraser at the bottom there you'll see you can drag your finger to erase or if you double tap the word eraser on the eraser it will clear your layer and the whole screen and so you can start on a blank canvas. This one's a spray feature, so it gives you kind of a spray paint effect. Then if you tap on the ABC underneath your spray paint function, you can tap on one of the fonts and it will allow you to type in some text here. Tap on the tick button to accept what you've just done. If you tap on the ABC again, choose a shape and you can pinch your fingers in and out to make the shape turn different ways and different sizes. If you use two fingers and drag away from the shape with two fingers, it will copy and paste that shape as well. And the same goes for your text as well. So this one here is a fill function. It will fill in um, an area of your canvas. You can either draw a shape and it will fill it or you can double tap the canvas and it will fill the whole of the background with that particular pattern that you choose. You've got a variety of patterns you can choose from. So here I've filled the back all with spots by double tapping the background. This one here with stripes in it is actually a blender so you can rub your finger across a bit like if you were blending pencil on a piece of paper you can rub it and it will blend a couple of colours together. This next one that looks like a blade underneath will actually cut out your canvas and you can move it with one finger around to different places. If you use two fingers to drag your shape it will copy and paste it to another area. Then if you tap on the ruler at the bottom it will give you different options so you can tap on symmetry, line to draw just a line, ruler to be able to use the ruler to draw a tool along to make a straight line. So it will choose whichever tool you're currently using or you'll have to choose a new one and if you run your finger along the edge of the ruler it will draw straight lines. If you use two fingers on your ruler you can turn it the way you want it to be. So if we choose um, line now you can just drag your finger up from one point to another and it will create straight lines with that feature. And finally the symmetry, if you tap on symmetry, you can choose one line, two line, three lines or four lines of symmetry. I'm just going to double tap on the eraser so you can erase the layer and see this effect more clearly. We've got four lines of symmetry here and if you just draw in one of those sections, it will be mirrored in each of the other sections. Now we're going to tap on the three dots at the top to save this photograph to our photos. So tap on the shadow, which is the box with the arrow pointing out, and you'll see there's several options when you tap here. You can either save the image to your photos, or you can share it to Shobi, you can share it through AirDrop, you can share it onto Notes, lots of different things. But for now, we're going to tap on save image to our photo library. 
Then if you tap the home button and open up your photos app, you can see your image at the bottom there that you've created. And from here, you can also tap the shower at the top left and it will give you options to share it to your other apps on your iPad. I hope this demo has been useful and please do get in touch to let us know all the creative ways that you have responsively used Sketches School in your early years setting. Mm -hmm.